Okay, I've heated the engine back up. Now I'll take off the valve covers and we'll see what that uh, valve lash is set at and see if that minus 7 was the right number cold. Okay, I adjusted the valves. I found it kind of strange. The intakes were all perfect. I didn't adjust to one of those and the exhausts were all... Uh, off uh, between 21 and most of them were higher uh, some of them several of them at 25 so that was kind of weird I didn't recall there being a difference between uh, how much tighter you were supposed to put them but hey that's what it is now we'll check the compression I don't know what it's supposed to be you know we're just checking for fun so it's not like it's a stock motor where it's supposed to have X amount of compression and all of that, but we'd just like to know uh, what it had, just in case you want to do a differential someday and want to know what it had originally. But let's see. Woo. Well, it looks like it's got enough to me. A little over 200. I guess that's good. I don't know. Now I think for funsies we ought to do a leak down. Surely it's not wore out yet. Yo! Well, <laughs> I guess it's not wore out. Uh, let me, you're supposed to dial it down to 100. Okay. Well, I think the gauges must be off a little bit because it's got more than a hundred out of a hundred. I think I need, I think I need new gauges. Well, there we go. It's getting down to a hundred. I would call that zero percent, I guess. I mean, I can't complain. So all in all, I would say it's a successful uh, deal. When I was talking about the valve lash, I don't know if I was clear enough for people who may not have seen the episode of installing the rock arms and setting the valve lash. The cam card says to run 20 thousandths hot. Well, the motor's not hot when you build it. So how much should you run run how much should you set it at when you assemble the motor well i thought in the past that i used minus seven thousandths with a cast iron block and aluminum head hemi and so i set them at 13 and then after the cam break in and the test run and everything heated the oil back up and set the valve lash and all of the intakes were on 20 so I was perfect there but the exhausts were between 21 and 25 so I thought I should clarify that for those that didn't see the that part of the assembly video well it's finally over 15 months and 22 episodes and at least I'm happy with how it turned out. It was just a long time getting there. For those of you that have hung in for the whole 22 episodes, thanks for watching. And I hope your next build has a good outcome for you.